Um, my name is Roisin Byrne and I am a landscape architect. Um, my company is called Roisin Byrne Nature-Based Landscape Architecture. Um, and I'm based in Cork, Ireland, and I work nationally all over Ireland. I currently work as uh, providing consultancy services as a landscape architecture in landscape architecture and the core of my business is nature. So we're inspired by nature and we use natural processes. We think deeply about where things come from, from their source, the journey they make to come into the final landscape. So uh, um, I also work with uh, the Trinity College led project Connecting Nature. And we work with 30 European partners to try and um, I suppose nature-based solutions are uh, an emerging field and we want to um, help build knowledge base around them and work together and network around those. So that's what I do. Even as a child, I always loved nature. I played out in nature with my brothers as a child very collaboratively. And as I grew up, I studied architecture, but also worked on organic farms. So this idea of how things are cared for at the very source is fundamental to my understanding. Um, so uh, then when the recession came, I became, I studied landscape architecture in UCD. And there we learned a lot about interconnected systems and the earth as an interconnected system and how our climate is changing. Um, and also how the earth is suffering major biodiversity loss at the moment. So that inspired me to try and do something about that. And I found out that there are European projects um, working very collaboratively to try and do something about that. So I, I set up practice and worked also with European projects since then. Uh, my typical working day, um, it can change, but if I'm in studio, I start with with nature again and um, just paint and be very creative. And then I work on projects that are ongoing and um, collaborating with different teams. Um, it's very multidisciplinary. Um, and then with the Trinity project, we do networking and raising awareness around nature-based solutions. Um, and thinking deeper about um, what they are and how they can help the European Green Deal. Uh, I started as a, an architect, um, an architectural technician, um, but I found I was happier outdoors. So I set up practice as a um, landscape gardener. And then later I worked in, um, I studied in UCD landscape architecture. Um, and like I said, there we learned about connected art systems. Um, and that inspired me to work with the EU tourist project and um, to become a nature-based landscape architect and frame my landscape architecture practice around having nature at its core and being inspired by nature and this is very natural to me and um, so so then still now I'm working with with Trinity so it's you're always being educated in a way I suppose I would have liked to do the course at UCD sooner and um, on the career press just to network with other people sooner um, and understand what people are doing because when in the nature-based industry, solution industry, we are pioneering and that's what I learned by working with Trinity College. There are so many pioneers out there. So, and we all are facing similar barriers and challenges and it can be quite lonely if you're doing this on your own. So it's good to, to network as quickly as possible and um, speak to your peers because as a landscape architect, you work in multidisciplinary teams and there's quite a lot of work to do educating those partners about the advantages of working with nature um, and the importance of working with nature 
for our climate and our biodiversity. I suppose an educational experience that helped me would have been when I was uh, in UCD landscape architecture. And they were, there were two moments that come to mind. Um, the first is when we were in the beginning two years, we were really encouraged to be uh, very exploratory in terms of artistic practice, which was always backed up by being scientific and being able to rationalize and um, justify your end ideas, but you're encouraged to really jump into things artistically as well. And then the other work in UCD landscape architecture was, was really with the geolog geology and geography and understanding earth systems. And they're very, very interconnected nature um, and really uh, deepening that understanding of the impact our decisions make um, our design decisions make upon the earth are really important and we have a lot of control over that um, and and it's very nice to to understand the impact that you can have and the difference you can make. I suppose my colleagues um, in UCD landscape architecture um, a lot of a lot of my colleagues emigrated actually and became part of big practices across the world um and some maybe a small percentage stayed stayed in our home country and set up their own practice so as far as i'm aware there are not too many landscape architecture practices who frame themselves as nature-based however many landscape architecture practices are well able to deliver nature-based solutions at a very high level The professional and key skills um, I would consider really important to our practice is firstly, um, deep understanding and research base, um, looking at the project you're about to tackle, uh, especially in terms of ecological understanding and potential. And once you have all the knowledge you can gather about a particular place, um, to the ability to just hold that and let it go and jump into an artistic process. And in our practice, we must be highly co collaborative. Um, we must be have working with the people, stakeholders as core to what we are doing, because ultimately the long term viability of a place depends on the stewardship that is put in place by the people, maybe collaboratively with local authorities, it depends on the place, but it's a really important part of the process. And it's one that we in Trinity are trying to um, emphasize as important as well. And so communication and present presentation skills are very important. Um, we can work in, I, I think landscape architects are very ideally placed to take on multiple roles within the nature-based solutions. Um, we, we can work to create visions of what's possible. Uh, we can work very closely with communities to bring their visions of what's possible forward. We can work in multidisciplinary teams to help implement those visions and we can think out the stewardship of nature-based solutions for long-term viability. The main challenges in I have found in delivering nature-based solutions as a landscape architect have been um, working to communicate the value of nature in terms of actually supporting and providing resource to go the full mile and say, for example, um, fund organic plants or fund co-creative process. So these, these kind of longer processes that are involved in providing nature-based solutions at a very full holistic level, they take resource. And so a challenge is convincing or even build consensus around the value of nature and the value of these principles of nature-based solutions.
So my advice to students would be to follow your passion. And if you are passionate about nature and the earth and our biodiversity and climate crisis, and you feel you would like to make an impact, landscape architecture and nature-based landscape architecture are actually an ideal career path. It, especially if you're artistically inclined as well um, and scientifically inclined, it's really one of the best jobs in the world. And you can do so much and impact um, and work collaboratively with people. And it's a very joyful thing when you see uh, outcomes. So other advice I would have is maybe to plant a lot and really get to know your plants and get to know the interaction of different pollinators and birds. And um, that happens when you start to plant a place up. There's no time that it's too soon to do that. Um, it's really a thing that's worth getting into from the very, very beginning. And it's really worth if a university supports that and provides space for that to happen. So I would recommend a career in landscape architecture and nature-based landscape architecture, again, because you can have an impact at a local level and at global level at the same time, because we are one interconnected system. And landscape architects um, really have the tools and the understanding to communicate um, beautiful design possibilities for people to connect with nature and um, possibilities to build nature playgrounds and um, just build so many wonderful ways for people to connect with nature and be inspired by nature, which will have a ripple effect on the health and well-being of people and planet.